Exercise 25, Data Validation, Create From Selection, part of the Excel 2007 Core Preparation Guide, brought to you by Shifkey Solutions. In this exercise, we're going to be looking at the steps involved in applying data validation to a range of cells. So the first thing we want to do is apply a name to a range of cells. So I'm going to select this range A3 through A10. And I want to give this range the name description. And the way we're going to do that is to go to our formula tab and then over in define names group I'm going to click create from selection. And when I click this I get my dialog box appears here and it asks me create names from values in the top row. So this top row or top cell will be the name of this range of cells below it. So I'm going to click OK. Now it doesn't look like much happened. So if I go to cell A1 and then come to my name box and click my drop down arrow, here's a list of names that have been applied to ranges or cells. So if I come down here and click on description, it selects that range. Great. Now I know that has a name. Next I want to apply a data validation to this range of cells here under description so that it will apply a drop down list arrow so that end users can click on any one of these cells under description and have a list of these items to choose from to populate here but nothing else meaning that I want the end user to only be able to select these items and not type in something arbitrarily so I'm going to select this range to apply the drop down arrow and then I'm going to come to my data tab and over in the data tools group I'm going to click data validation. And here's my data validation dialog box. So in the settings tab where it says allow I'm going to click this drop down and choose list. And then under source instead of typing each one of these names in here separated by a comma instead of doing that I'm going to type in the name of this range which happens to begin with begin with equal and then type in description. And When I'm done I'm going to click OK and let's see I now have a drop down list arrow available to me so if I come to this first one and click my drop down arrow look at that there's a list to choose from so I can click on any one of these shorts and there it is this one could be team shirts or warm-up pants or what have you. And that's it. It's that easy. That concludes exercise 25, data validation, create from selection. Next will be exercise 26, sum function.